Hello, today we're going to show you how to do a quick cardiac screen using the ScanX ultrasound machine. You can start scanning from the moment you turn this machine on, but if you want to set up patient information, you go to Function and Info, and this is where you can put as much patient information as you like. I'm not going to put a patient ID in here, I'm just going to put Doppler's name. So I will press the keyboard icon and then when I click into that box I will be able to start typing her name. If you frequently perform cardiology exams you can set this as your permanent preset. Go to settings which is the cog icon at the top and go to exam preset. And all you have to do is change it to cardiology and press default and it will now be your default scanning setting. Press exit and OK. Once you've done that, restart the app. You'll see it just there, cardio instead of ABD or OB. I have Doppler ready in right lateral recumbency and I'm just going to pop the probe on. So I've got a long axis view here. My depth is quite far out and I can see that there is no pleural effusion, so there's no fluid underneath the heart and there's no pericardial effusion, there's no black fluid around the heart. So now I can afford to reduce my depth to fill up all of the screen with the heart. With a 90 degree twist, I can get to the short axis. I'm at papillary muscle level here and I can just watch all the walls squeezing in to the cavity. It looks like her systolic function is normal. For those of you who are big fans of M mode, I'm going to try and do this with the wrong hand here. You click mode and B and M. And you can drag your cursor, it's usually going to be around here. And there you can obtain your M mode trace. Because I am in cardiac mode, if I were to freeze my image and press measure, I wouldn't really recommend doing a quantitative echocardiogram using a point of care ultrasound machine like this but it's worth knowing that if you do have the odd patient that have crystal clear pictures and you can get really nice on axis images, then you can perform basic measurements like septal wall thickness, free wall thickness, left ventricular internal diameter. All of those measurements are here under measure for you. In cardiology, it's always important for us to be able to view our clips back, particularly helpful if you can slow it down. So once you've frozen your image, if you press autoplay, maybe put it to half speed for example, it's going to play back what you've just done in the slower speed and you can also pick quarter speed if you want. So animals with really fast heart rates, it's really important to be able to slow that down so you can really see what's going on. To unfreeze your image, make sure you click and drag the freeze button. Other things you could do from this view are tilt up towards the base of the heart to get a subjective idea of LA-AO ratio, so the ratio of the aorta to the left atrium. You could do the same from your right parasternal long axis view, compare the left atrium to other chambers and to other structures in the heart. In Doppler's case that's always going to be abnormal, she does have congenital heart disease so I'm not going to do that with her. What I'm going to do is turn her over to the other side and have a look and see if we can see any apical views. From her apical view, again, I can see that her left ventricle is contracting nicely. All the chambers look relatively well proportioned. Her left ventricle is a little bit dilated, but her left atrium, her right atrium and her right ventricle all look comparatively normal in size. This is another view you can use just to look for any kind of effusion. So again, you would just bring that depth right out. Just have a look for any fluid surrounding or beneath the heart. 
Finally, let's look at saving images. If you've got an image that you like, then just press freeze. And to save a video clip, press save cine. It'll be very quick and you'll know it's done it because you'll see the thumbnail up there. You can save a single frame with save. I wouldn't recommend that for cardiology. You always want to be saving yourself a loop. If you want to review examinations you've already done, you would go to function, info, patient list, and that's going to give you a list of all the examinations that you've been doing.